States, there is a major shakeup in the FDNY. Published reports are saying this morning two high-ranking chiefs have voluntarily stepped down from their positions after the fire commissioner demoted three other chiefs. Joining us now, Lieutenant James McCarthy. He's president of the FDNY Uniform Fire Officers Association. Lieutenant, nice to have you with us this morning. Good morning. What is going on with this shakeup? Well, there's been some uh, change in the FDNY leadership. Some staff chiefs were moved to positions uh, offline and not responding. And then after uh, a few weeks of that, they were uh, demoted back to their civil service rank of deputy chief. Um, some of the uh, other chiefs in the leadership, the chief of department and the chief of operations, uh, found that they weren't uh, included in a lot of those conversations and um, the planning and notified about that. The transparency and communications weren't there for them. And it, they feel that it's been a, a long running problem with the department. And this was the final straw for them and they wanted to uh, demonstrate their discomfort and uh, <clears throat> disagreement with the administration in uh, the, the fire department. So can we expect more resignations, demotions? What, and what does it mean for us, basically? Because the bottom line is, will it affect the day-to-day the -day operations mm -hmm. of the fire department? Well, losing that many people uh, it's about 150 years of firefighting experience, and they bring a lot of uh, skill sets, a tremendous skill set to incidents and fires and major incidents they respond to. So uh, not having that impacts the safety of all the members of the fire department, and more importantly, the members of uh, residents of New York City and all those visitors. So that is impactful for um, on the safety and the operations of, of the fire department because all of this experience and um, will it affect though lieutenant the day-to-day -day operations well one thing the fire department always prides itself on in the street in the firehouses on the fire trucks they get the jobs done and they they respond to every emergency and they make uh, a bad day for any person as be as much uh, better as they can and we're going to respond and uh, get the job done it's just the logistics and the uh, training and the equipment that may be affected in the long run. Well, I, I think that the, the mayor is in full support of this and also kind of make sure that our the people that live here feel rest assured because he had to put a statement saying Commissioner Kavanaugh has my full support. She's promoting a culture of true leadership, accountability and performance within the FDNY. As Commissioner Kavanaugh made clear, she and her senior team work for the rank and file and the people of this city. Those who do not agree with the view have chosen to leave the FDNY. So he's also making sure to say regardless, New Yorkers can rest assured that the FDNY is as prepared as ever to keep them safe and respond to all and any emergencies. Look, I know the mayor has to say that to just make sure everyone feels comfortable and safe. Do you think, in your opinion, was this the right thing to do um, to have these two chiefs be demoted for not, as you're saying, being responsive? Well, the, the two, uh, the chief of department and the chief of operations resigned their appointment to that position. They went back to the civil service rank of deputy chief. That's their decision. They, that was their communications and the transparency they had with the fire department administration. So they felt that they are... Laura Kavanaugh demoting the, the two individuals. Well, there was three uh, staff chiefs demoted to deputy chief. They had positions uh, offline in the, uh, service in the fire department. They were uh, three-star chiefs or two-star chiefs, and they were demoted back to deputy chiefs. So that's impactful on their, their pay and their benefits and their jobs. So uh, these other, the chief of department, chief of operations, felt that the administration uh, I mean, just, I'm just trying to get a clear answer as to why they were demoted in the first place by Laura Kavanaugh. And there, there's been some, you know, some sayings online about them undermining and, and whatnot, but is there anything that you've heard maybe? I'm not aware of any undermining. They, they do uh, a tremendous job. They all have over 30 years of service in the fire department, and they've done uh, tremendous work, or they would not have been in the position they were in now. They would not have made it to yeah. staff chief or uh, been asked to work at uh, Metrotech for the fire department if they had not been competent and superior in their ability. Okay, so today, meanwhile, um, there are promotions going to be yes. happening with the fire department. Do we expect any more drama today, Lieutenant? Well, I mean, there's going to be a lot of promotions. New lieutenants coming into the uh, fire officers union, and then some lieutenants going to be promoted to captain. 
captains to battalion chiefs and battalion chiefs to deputy chiefs. So it's a great day for the fire department, one of the happy days uh, we have in the year that uh, celebrate with our families and uh, friends and, uh, and the co-workers in the firehouse. Mm. And uh, they put a lot of time, years of study and uh, hard work to get to this point. So uh, it's a very positive time for the fire. All right, let's talk a little bit about COVID mandates, obviously change now uh, from city government. Um, no, no, no mandate, right, for city employees. What happens to the people who already lost their jobs in, in, with the fire department? Can they uh, come back at the same status? Well, as of uh, Friday, as you know, they, uh, the mayor has uh, uh, rolled back the vaccine mandate, so no one is going to be required to get the uh, vaccine. The fire department has been about 90 90%, 90 92% vaccinated for some time now, for, for months. So we've been uh, asking the mayor to roll this back when he rolled it back for the athletes and the yeah. performers. Right. And then yeah, when he right. rolled it back for the civilians, we asked again. Mm -hmm. And now here we are um, a month later. So what does it mean for your men and women? Will they get their job back at the rank that they had it? Well, currently we've been told that they can apply. Anybody who's retired or terminated because of their vaccine status, they can reapply to come back to the fire department. They all you have to do is file the application, get get a physical, pass the uh, um, retraining, and then get the permission of the fire commission. And what which about is, the back pay? Because I mean, they've been out of work because of this mandate for for a bit. Is there? I mean, they they probably say they, we deserve that. Is there? What's going on with that as well? Yeah. Well, from the beginning, we filed lawsuits with uh, against OLR and the city and uh, the department about uh, we've supposed to be collectively bargain this impact of the mandate. And we're uh, also demanding back pay from when any member went on leave without pay or they were terminated. You think you're uh, going to get that? Well, I, I'm very confident in our attorneys and yeah. the argument we we're going to make that all of the members should get back pay from the time they were put on leave without pay or uh, terminated. Hmm. And uh, those lawsuits are ongoing, and they've been going since uh, 11, uh, 1st of November in 2021. Yeah. So it's a long process. and. Uh, uh, justice goes uh, slowly, but in the right direction. We know it moves slow. We know it moves slow in the yeah. city. So do you also have like a, a, a problem with getting people interested in the department? I mean, you know, it seems like every um, business in New York City can't find enough employees. Mm -hmm. Well, fire department? department is unique, I think, in that it's a great job. People love the job. And the people that actually do the job are the best ambassadors to um, get other people to take the job. We have a very robust recruitment program. We probably hire um, 700 perhaps uh, people a year and we have, uh, we give the test every four years, we probably have 20,000 applicants wow. for the test. So as far as getting people to take the exam, uh, that's not a problem. It's, it's uh, the investigative part and the physical test and all of those um, uh, requirements. Gotcha. And I will say you guys give out really cool pins. <laughs> this is what I have with this is what I have with me on my jacket. I was like, all right, I gotta support the FDNY. I like I'm a little that. Shamrock. Well we thank the you. March pin, yes. Uh, <laughs> Lieutenant James McCarthy, president of the FDNY, Uniform Fire Officers Association. Uh, good luck today. You think you're gonna get a promotion? I will not be promoted. <laughs> all right, just check. Maybe if you get the back pay, you're like <laughs> well, well, yeah, that'll be enough. All right. We wish you luck. Thanks. Thank you very much.